I think I think the reason why Julia Gillard at the moment isn't um, just allowing us to have gay marriage is because she doesn't think it's really a priority. I'm not sure because she's never given us an answer. A lot of people say it's because she's bowing down to Christian lobbies, but I'm not that cynical. I think she just doesn't think it's a priority. So um, I think this is an important opportunity for somebody to uh, really personalize the issue and make her understand all the kinds of uh, sensitive parts of the issue that people, people don't understand, which is, you know, kind of how a big a problem homophobia is for young people in, in our country, do you know what I mean? Um, I was talking to my boyfriend, my boyfriend would be at this dinner with me, and if I was with her, I would get him to tell this story that broke my heart about when he was 12 and he was getting like bullied on school camp at the beach and he just ran into the ocean and, and tried to drown himself. Or I would tell her about some, um, you know, I used to do stand-up about being bullied in school, being getting called Dancing Fag or Fairy Boy, and I didn't mention in that stand-up, you know, the time that three guys came up to me at a party and just kicked me in the head while yelling, faggot, you know where he stands, do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know why I keep saying, do you know what I mean? I think you understand what I mean. Um, <laughs> but this is... And, and Josh, if she said to you the community's not ready for it, what would you say? Well, I would, I would say to her they, they are. I mean, the polling shows they are. This is actually not a controversial issue. 63% of people want to see this. 74% of Labour voters want to see this. At the moment in this country, uh, you have, if you're gay, you are at a much higher risk of... of uh, you'll experience self... You're much higher much more likely to experience self-harm, depression, homelessness, eating disorders, drug abuse. You're five to 14 times more likely to attempt suicide. And, and the biggest contributing factor to that is homophobia. And the Marriage Act, as it stands, it empowers homophobia. And it needs to change, I think. Yeah. Summer. It, it really does bewilder me that you know, for a political system um, and a political class that is so obsessed with opinion polls that they're not actually heeding what opinion polls are telling us. And that is very clearly that Australians support gay marriage. But unfortunately, they're not responding to that. They're not responding to what we want on this issue. So, I mean, I don't think that one dinner party will change that, unfortunately. Um, and I really, I really don't know what's needed in this particular instance. I would hope that our political leaders would just get on with it and enact what we all want, and that is for gay marriage to exist. I, I, what, what frustrates me so much about it is it's so easy to change. It's, it's, it's not controversial anymore, and it's six words. Between a man and a woman, you get rid of them. It costs us nothing. A study has showed that it's good for the economy. I do not understand how that works, but I will run with it. <laughs> well, uh, let me... Let me uh, I think there's a tweet that may answer some of that. There's a tweet from uh, Kylie Minge. Why do the major political parties deny gay men the basic human right of a bridal registry at DJ's? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just want gifts. I just, <laughs> I just want a day where I can get with my friends and family. I guess I really love this guy. Now buy me some presents. I'm sick of buying you some. You know? Yes. I'm sick of it. It's always give, give, give when you're gay. I just, I just want a toaster. <laughs>